Ed Snyder's impact on the sport of hockey in the United States began in 1966, when the NHL expanded beyond the original six and welcomed Snyder's Philadelphia Flyers into the fold. If you look today where hockey is throughout the Mid-Atlantic region, it is so hot, and uh, Ed Snyder bringing the Philly, Philadelphia Flyers into the National Hockey League was such a huge part of that. Snyder helped construct the famed Philadelphia Spectrum and created Spectacor, a management company that would eventually merge with Comcast and oversee the Flyers, the 76ers, and the AHL's Phantoms and Comcast Sportsnet. Philadelphia is a, a tough town, uh, enthusiastic fans. A member of the NHL Executive Committee, Snyder's impact was not just on the NHL, but also on the overall development of the sport through other significant initiatives. He founded Hockey Central in 1976, promoting youth hockey in the Delaware Valley. In 2005, the Hockey Hall of Fame inductee and Lester Patrick Award winner created the Ed Snyder Youth Hockey Foundation, which opened the door for underprivileged children in Philadelphia to step out on the ice. What he has done in terms of uh, supporting and in fact taking over many formerly public rinks in the city of Philadelphia to make sure that they stay open, and that hockey continues to be played by people throughout the greater Philadelphia area. He deserves so much praise and credit for really a, a great, great portion of his career in supporting hockey in the United States. Through Snyder's care, youth hockey for all in the Atlantic region has flourished. Ed Snyder's a tremendous person, uh, a tremendous and passionate owner of our team in Philadelphia, and uh, he's just a, a great, great man. Joining the list of the immortals who have left an indelible mark on the game of hockey in the United States, please welcome to the U.S. Hockey Hall of Fame, Ed Snyder.